Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Man Card Podcast, where we like to start off our podcast with a quote of the week. Now we'll go ahead. And the Oscar goes to G.I. Jada Smith. Will Smith. (laughs) Hit it. Welcome back to the Man Car Podcast. It's been a minute. It's been two minutes. It might have. It's it's been about an hour. It's been about. It's been one, about an hour. One whole sixty minutes. I wish I could say I've missed y'all, but I've missed y'all. You, we have been, and of course, I don't want to create excuses or anything. Uh-huh. But we've been. There's been shocking a shocking amount of things that have happened between the last time we've recorded and now. It's been what? Three. It's been. It's been over a month. It's been about a month. It's been over, yeah. Yeah. But I actually looked back on our viewership, and our viewership like randomly spiked oh, when we, we stopped recording. Oh, I was screwed up. Dude, that's, that's exactly how that happens, though. It's like you, you start recording something, and it's like, oh, well, nobody's listening. This is dumb. Uh-huh. And you stop. We can take a break. We don't take it seriously. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the second you stop, just like hundred, hundreds of people just start listening. Yeah. It's like, okay, well great yeah, just trying to time the market or no they're just they're just they see that we stop posting and they're like oh oh i like it better that they don't post <laughs> Create- i like it better when i don't know when they're going to have an episode <laughs> it makes it like a commodity you know or not a commodity like it's like a rarity they go on a uh, apple music and they just like check every single day oh I didn't want to come out and it's like a, it's like a game it's, it's like, like a roulette it's, it's like ooh, mcp did- i'm gonna invest in mcp baby <laughs> <laughs> it's going to the moon <laughs> Well, okay. Well, welcome back. We're excited for you to be here. Um, we'll just start off this episode like like we did in the quote. We have to start off with a little bit of pop culture dissection because everybody else is doing it, so we might as well jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. Obviously, I think you should just go ahead and say what side you're on. Are you are you Chris? Or are you Team well, Will? I, th- I think everyone's. I, okay, and I'm not not everyone, but I think 90 percent of people should and are. Team Chris. You're Team Chris. I'm Team we Chris. We got to play devil's advocate a little bit. I will say, I will say, when I first watched the incident, uh-huh. my primal manhood yeah. was like, oh, hell yeah, Will. Like, stand up for your woman. Mm-hmm. You know, go smack the man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like if, if you were in a bar and somebody was insulting your wife, yeah, you, bam, you, yeah. you hit yep. a guy, you hit a guy, yep. he smacks you, yep. done. But it's but, different circumstances. But it's, it's not a bar. It's not a bar. It's, it's just like, and it's not some drunk ass. Dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like it's like it's like intentionally scripted jokes for a you know highfalutin class of people mm-hmm. that pay to be there or don't pay to be there, but they get like thousands of dollars worth of goodie bags and like mm-hmm. it's just a it's just a a big pat on the back session, and then you on your all high and mighty horse feel the need to get so offended. To not only derail, interrupt, and then assault the host, but you saw that they they That's crazy. They, they put the camera on him after he said it. And he's yes. laughing. He's and laughing. You see her roll her eyes. Yeah. And I, in I, the I, cutaway, in the cutaway back to Chris. Yeah. Jada must have done or said something. That's what I, I wish we could have saw that. I know. I, w- I feel like the camera. I feel like there was a camera angle that was still on them mm-hmm. that we just can't know. I, I bet showed. you the Oscars isn't putting it out. Yeah, I'm sure they're not because half of Hollywood right now, maybe more than half of Hollywood thinks that what Will did was good. Because Hollywood's stupid. Hollywood's strange, but this one I just don't understand. Yeah. For a lot of reasons. One reason they're saying it's good is because like there's been a lot of history surrounding black women's hair. Uh-huh. And so like this joke from Chris is is some on some level like a like a pseudo like I don't know, insult in some way. I mean it's it's like I guess all of it's an insult kind of because it's the Oscars. Uh-huh. But like it's like more so because it's about her hair. But at the same time, she came out on Instagram and was like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm with it. I'm, you know, of course I have alopecia, but you know, at this point I'm laughing with it. I'm rolling with it. But she ain't. But no, she's not. Yeah. But she's not. No. So like, you know, it's just a perfect encapsulation of how whatever agenda you have, it's, it's, you ride the agenda train until it's just not conducive for you anymore. You hop off. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, I can ride this alopecia train again. And like get some good good publicity for it, and let me let me get back on and be offended. You know, it's just like ah okay. Let me just say, if you if you're a comedian 
and you're having a great show and you see Will Smith walk in, shut up and shut just up. don't say nothing. Don't don't mention Jay. Don't they don't take it he doesn't take a joke. He doesn't get it. I, that, although okay, he does though. Will does take a joke because he, he thought he it was, was funny. Yes. You see him Jada and his wife. Take you see joke. him and his wife walk in, just you're done. You're uh, done. Just be like, ah, all right, that's it. Peace. Thank yeah. y'all for your time. I'm well, out. Okay, so I, I heard um this guy, he actually had some details um from the crime because because Chris is actually pressing charges. I thought he said it wasn't. Okay, so you thought that. Yeah. So there was an investigator that ended up, you know, getting with Chris and was like, hey, you know, let's get down to the nitty gritty. They dusted they dusted the whole scene, right? And guess what they found? Fresh prints. <laughs> I hate your ass. <laughs> I heard that joke today. Well, at work, one of the one of the associates came up to me and was like, hey, I got a joke for you. <laughs> The amount of TikToks I've seen on making jokes and stuff, it, it, people re uh, mixing yeah. the intro song to Fresh Prince. Uh, oh, once kind of fight and or uh, off to my mommy. Uh, my mom got scared because you're moving. Oh, man, Andy, Andy, we, can, Andy, we don't even know it. You we do. don't even know. It. Yeah, it, it's I it's a long line. My mom, I got in one little fight. And my mom got scared, so she, she said, said you're, you're going to live with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Yeah, exactly. And people were you know putting Chris. Oh, oh I nice. saw another really good one. Oh, um, you know, uh, Avengers Endgame, no, Infinity War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're fighting Thanos mm -hmm. on his own planet. Sure. Um, and uh, Doctor Strange says, I think you'll find our will equal to yours. And it's just a meme, and it's our will. Our will. And so he summons <laughs> Will, and Will comes out and slaps the shit out of <laughs> Thanos. That's it was good. awesome. I like Whoever that. That was great. Dude, uh, there's nothing like like a societal like kind of coming together moment. Like I get like some people are of course like team will like whatever. Mm. Um, you, it's okay to be wrong. That's fine. Yeah, of but, course. But I love the like coming togetherness of these kind of moments where everybody can go. Okay, well, obviously that was wrong. I want to know what Chris was about to say because if you watch right after I Chris know. was like, I could, ooh, I could. He was like, he was about was like, to say Chris, something. say Chris, say Chris, do dude. Chris. Well, that's the thing. He's the man with a stage. Like, say something. Uh -huh. like, you could totally come out and be like the guy. Yeah. Although, I mean, I like how he did it and he came out and he, you know, had the high road by kind of just like moving on, mm -hmm. which is great. But um, I just don't, I just don't get like, okay, one thing I do disagree with is people saying that it's toxic masculinity. I I don't I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Yeah. Cause I think I think the instinct is is fine and good. The nobility, the standing up for those who, you know, might not be confident enough to speak up for themselves, or like I think that's totally fine. I think, you know, responding to somebody, you know, sometimes violence is okay. Sometimes that's okay. But I, I just don't know. It's like there's a context for everything. I'm a big context is king kind of guy. And I just could, it's just situational. It's just situational. It really so like, is. I couldn't, I just can't get behind. If he was in a bar and some drunk ass dude was saying that to like his getting wife, all up then on boom, his wife. Yeah, yeah then exactly. Beat the living daylights out of him. I mean, you might still catch an assault charge. Yeah. But, but it, I mean, it's you know, the Oscars. It's Chris Rock. He's a comedian. When you're a comedian, nothing's you're a comedian. off limits. Will's a comedian. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, like, what are you doing, dude? Your wife also slept with another dude and told yes. it to eat your face. Like, we're not going to slap the shit out of August. Like, yeah, exactly. You know. Oh, we're just friends now? Yeah. And then Chris mentions Jada's yeah. lookalike to a random offshoot movie, like deep cut reference that like 90% of people wouldn't know if, it's like, if, if literally, here, let me play it back for you. If Chris had said the joke and Will and Jada just laughed, just went along with it, I would say a good solid 80% of people, myself included, would have missed the joke. Because mm -hmm. I've never seen G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane. Yeah, me neither. Never even heard and of it. I didn't it. even know she was bald. I didn't even know who that I was. I didn't even know who that I, I had nothing. I had no idea. Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows she's a bald it. ass. Yeah. You know, G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane. It's Dude. very funny. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, man, like if you could just roll with it. Like my favorite thing is like, um, uh, you know Ross Creations? No. Okay. So he's, he's one of, he's Cade and my, like one of our favorite like uh, like prank creators almost. So he does a ton of really, really funny things with disabled people. <laughs> so, and it's awesome. Oh, does he do the one that like... The, he, the uh, beans in the computer? 
Oh no, I've seen one where a guy in Walmart, uh, I guess some dude that lost all his legs and arms and has like one nub, he'll act like a zombie and like start chasing people down the See, That's funny. I like the that. aisle of Walmart. Yeah, okay. So it's like it's almost like one cuz that's like using your disability for like a specific thing. Yeah. He takes it like one step further, which is like he'll get like a girl who has one arm. Ross. Is Ross? this the old country dude? He's not old. Okay, no. never mind. There's an old country dude. He's that young. Does, He's does a young pranks. Floridian. Okay, never yeah. mind. Then I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. So he gets this girl who has one arm, uh-huh. right? And he'll he'll be walking on the beach with her, holding her hand, her mm-hmm. one hand, and then they'll walk past a group of people, like they're crossing paths, mm-hmm. and he'll like get mad at her and be like, "Why didn't you wave at them?" And and like just to get the other uh, group to like funny. be like oh my gosh what like, are you saying what are you yeah, saying that's awesome and so and then he'll like uh, they did like a bit video where he, where they were playing baseball and she had she threw the baseball to him and then he threw it back and like she can't catch it because <laughs> she doesn't have a glove arm and uh, and it was very funny it's uh, just very funny those are great yeah there's a ton of stuff there's a guy that's in a wheelchair I think he got shot by his friend it's like a really tragic story but he's like. I love your videos and I want to come out and like be funny like yeah, with yeah. my, with what I have now. So he can't walk at all. And he's now in these videos, like doing some like crazy funny stuff. Like he, he went to a, it was a, like a bouncy amusement thing uh-huh. and Ross like put him on his back and like they pretended to be dead on the like rope swing zip line thing. They were just like hanging there. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, that's it's awesome. very funny. Or like they're coming down the stairs and he's, he's on his back and this guy's just dragging the feet on the stairs. He's like, oh shoot, dude. You're, I'm dragging your feet. He's like, I can't feel it. Like, <laughs> very funny, very funny stuff. But like when people can joke and roll with their own yeah. like issues that are going on, it's like it makes it much more funny because it's like everybody else already feels uncomfortable. Yeah. So like why not just, why not just roll with that? Have you heard of Nelk? Yeah, uh, Nelk. So Nelk yeah. came out with a recent uh, prank. Since we're on the topic of pranks, that I thought was hilarious, and it, the one they go up to people's houses in the neighborhood, bring them like muffins and everything, and he's like, you yeah, know, just so you know, you know, I just moved to the neighborhood and stuff, oh, yeah. but uh, I'm I'm a registered sex offender, so I need you to sign this, and then they'll be like, oh, I appreciate you, you know telling me uh that I'm, i mean about that like horrible incident that happened he's like oh it wasn't that bad i liked it <laughs> i enjoyed it and stuff like that isn't he the same guy with um what's his name steve will do it steve will do it yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so i i was actually watching a couple of their videos because they just interviewed trump yeah you know the whole thing behind that now too right no oh okay because i was i was looking through the comments of yeah. the trump inter the podcast interview yeah or that's not on there. the podcast yeah. right not youtube because it's got taken down. No, from me too. So, so it's there talking or like they were discussing it. Oh and yeah, it was like yeah. getting the watch and stuff. It was like the the prelude to it. Yeah. And I was reading the comments, and it was all great. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how how is this guy, this guy, just random white dude that drinks too much and like that's his shtick, is not? How is he not getting flack? How is he not getting flack? Yeah. I mean, I agree. I think he shouldn't get flack. Yeah, I agree. I think it's it's awesome. It's dope to like have fun with that but like how is he not getting fun their viewing is all i mean they are so supportive uh, people that love nelk they love Nelk. everything and anybody okay. that goes after nelk you're going after the whole fan club like yeah. the whole fan club comes after you one person says fuck you nelk boom then you're canceled everyone's after you they're spamming you they got people following you sending you messages how, how did you, they get in that position dude, they just it's like it's like it's like here's here's the the camp over here that's going to cancel you and do all this crazy stuff uh-huh. and here's the camp over here that's like it, it is going to not like you because you join the other camp. Yeah, yeah. And they are they are just like right on the line mm-hmm. and and impervious. I don't know how they do it. I was re- I literally read hundreds of comments. Yeah. And, and nothing sticks. Yeah. Nothing. Everybody's like, "You're so great, man. You're so cool. You're so nice." Yeah. I mean, I mean, of course, YouTube took them down on a couple of videos because YouTube yeah. doesn't agree with you know things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But aside from that, you know, no, they don't get canceled for anything. Yeah. Anything at but, all. Th- here's the thing, though. Also, you think about you know Crowder or someone like mm-hmm. that. They have enough following that it doesn't matter. You, the left can't can't. They can say whatever they want. They can't get canceled because they can just go on their own platform and then they'll still have following. Right. Okay. Your so career then, won't be based off. So that. then there's people like me who like I love these people. Right. I'll listen to or now it's like I'm kind of like digging partially. Not a big fan of the Steve will do it like aura mm-hmm. and he's like drink do drugs all the time it's like kind of his thing mm-hmm. um not the biggest fan but i like his like donations he gives a bunch of stuff away oh, yeah, I he's, think a, it's awesome. he's such yeah, a nice guy yeah um but like i don't get i don't pay into any of those communities 
right? So like Steven Crowder, like I'm not in Mug Club, mm-hmm. right? So I'm not I'm not really supporting like what he's doing, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. So like there's people like me, there's a ton of people like me, I know for sure. Um, and there was a minute there where I was like, oh, I'll join Mug Club. And then, I'll, and then you know, I was like, oh, I, you know. I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the money. Exactly. But at the same yeah. time, I'm like, but I, I would, like, I really support what you're doing. So I don't know. There's a middle ground for sure. Cause I'm like, I don't, I, I agree with it, but I also wouldn't go out of my way. Yeah. I don't know. It's almost like the, like being hard pressed. Like, oh, would you stand up for, I don't know, probably not. Oh, it's that whole, what's that TV <laughs> show or whatever that puts you in a weird situation? Would Ooh. you stand up or, oh, John what would you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. What would you do? <laughs> Dude, yeah, that show is so. Cody Code does so many funny reacts to that. Cody Code's not the same anymore. He's not, I know. They're, they're not the. What is the same is basically every episode of their podcast is a that's cringe. So I just don't I don't listen or watch their podcast, mm. and so now people like me who literally just watched their that's cringe stuff and then started watching their channel. Yeah, but I feel like you got to see video with it yeah so there's a video it's a video podcast okay so okay kind of like what we're doing here we're live on youtube (laughs) go check it out if you aren't tuned in share with your friends if you want to we have fun conversations like this um pretty much every week when we're recording yeah don't add when we're on a roll we're on a roll we'll see we'll see how long it goes okay so switching gears just a little bit Mm -hmm. i know we've been in the pop culture bubble just for a minute i wanted to talk to you because i know you and i off camera were talking about you know, next steps. Cause I know we've teased it a bunch. Like is main card ending? Like what's the next thing, dude, what's, where are you going? Cause you're, know. you're, you're a little cooped up, right? Mm-hmm. Just to sum up your emotions, right? You're mm-hmm. a little cooped up. Mm-hmm. You're at home. Mm-hmm. You got big boy bucks, mm-hmm. right? So you're feeling independent, but you're not all the way there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tease that out with me. Just a little um, bit. dude, I, I couldn't even tell you. I mean, I can tell you my thoughts, what's actually going to happen. Who the hell knows? We'll start there. Yeah. We'll start with thoughts. Um, so Bella got a new job. Mm. She's moving to Congrats. Philadelphia. Yeah. She, it's she's like all her, in. Whoa, it's her, whoa, hold on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So got a new job. Congrats. Dream company. Dream company. Congrats. Congrats. Stipulation. Going to Philadelphia. Not congrats. Not congrats. Okay. Yeah. So obviously not big fan. Of so Philly. I mean, she, Philly she stakes. Yeah, Philly cheesesteaks are phenomenal. phenomenal. Top five favorite foods, but bottom, okay, so bottom five favorite cities. <laughs> yeah, so I've never even thought of even visiting or moving to Philadelphia, and I don't know if she has either. But this company is based in Philadelphia, and so I mean, that's where she that's where she's going to end up going. We're going up this sure. weekend. We're going to find her an apartment that she moves into, and so we are going to do the wonderful thing that relationships get to do. It's called long distance. Okay. Yeah. So how do you think? I mean, obviously, y'all have talked about that. Yeah, a little bit. It. Yeah, a lot. A lot. A of lot. Bit. Of a bit. lot of bit. A lot of bit. Is of course. it like serious talks, or y'all like, oh, we'll cross the bridge when we get there? What do you mean? Like, I mean, we we're, we have to cross the bridge because she's moving. I know, in like, like in a couple weeks, like, uh, we'll cross. But like, still, you could be like, we're, we're oh, gonna we'll we're gonna attempt on. long distance the best we can. Um, any issues we come across, we'll cross the bridge when it comes. We're not gonna plan, sure, sure, um, for that per se. Um, you know, there's always there's been talks of you know move in whether or not you know go move in with her or not move in there and stuff. Yeah, like, but I'm gonna be tough. honest, it's one of those things. I'm personally not ready to move in with a girlfriend when I have not even moved out of my parents' house ever. Yeah. So it's like, like, go from your parents' house to another. Exactly. It's like, I'm going from one dependent household to I'm dependent on another household because I'm not like putting my name on a lease or anything. So it's her space, her stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what we are going to attempt to do is just, I'll just go up and visit for extended periods of time. I'm not going to go up for just like a weekend. I work remotely so I can go up for like two, three weeks, four weeks if need be. And then I can go, back to wherever I'm going, which is leading me to, yeah. I need to move the fuck out. So I have a place to go back to. That's not my mom's house. So yeah, my, you go to the Philly. It's like, mom, I'm home again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's, there's no, there's no more like salt in the wound, insult to injury than like you go. I mean, like, of course, God forbid, like the relationship goes bad or anything, but like you, you're there and like, Oh, it goes sour, like bomb. And you come home. Like you have to come <laughs> like back to she, mommy. She, she dumps me. She's like, go home. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> mom, <laughs> She yeah. told me. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like there's nothing Walk in worse. the door. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like at least you can go back to your own space, your own apartment, and be like, okay. I just hear it. My mom says, honey, how was your trip? And then I just drop my bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> <you> hug. <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. That, I mean, like that. that is like 
one truism I think in life is like the the kind of cry home to mommy mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's like, oh, you're a mommy's boy. Yeah. I've never really seen that as the worst thing in the world. I'm cool being mommy's boy. I'm cool being mommy's boy. Like give... my mom's awesome. She's um, like top shelf mom. Yeah. Um, would definitely recommend ten out of ten. But you know, it's always like the the like I think as you grow older, like when you're younger, it's like screw your parents kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like as you grow older, I think there's this like there's this nobil like this. Uh, honor thing where mm-hmm. you're like this is my mom oh yeah you know, i've definitely is... experienced that yeah, yeah. And i used so, to get pissed at my mom all the time oh you're gonna you're gonna grow closer to your mom when you move out oh i, I feel like i'm as close that. to my mom as i can get okay yeah keep your mind sigmund <laughs> yeah. freud just entered the chat <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no i mean you get what i'm saying though like the the further distance because that's what i found it with tech and like moving out now being married it's like my relationship with my mom and my parents has like exponentially increased yeah. because I am my own. I mean, of course me and my wife, of course we're, we're arbiters of our lives together, but like I'm kind of the, 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 the captain of the ship now. Yeah, yeah. And they're kind of just getting to watch and witness, you know, succeeding. Oh, uh-huh. success, su- 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 success, sex, sex, seed, seed. succeeding, seeding, succeeding, succeeding, success. They're getting to witness success. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I mean, of course, assuming there is success, right? So I'm, you know, I feel like I'm doing pretty good, but you know, yeah, some kids don't (laughs) and the failures. Yeah. Okay. Do you know any failures to launch? Like any, like, I mean, I guess you might be considered one. You haven't left home, but no, but no, yeah, no, I'm not, (laughs) no, not really. You're going to slap me now. Yeah. Um, but no, no, like, uh, like, like doesn't have like a, an adult job, like living at home, our Um, age, I don't. I was like, I was kind of in a way. I mean, I signed, I knew I was going to work for Palo Alto, but I'm, I graduated and moved back home with my parents for three months before I started. I did the same thing. Yeah. So, so but I, I, yeah. Was one, I was worse than you because I moved back home and didn't have a job. Oh, so you were a failure. I was a hundred percent a failure for yeah. about till I got engaged at the end of April. Nice. Right. So I, I graduated in March, April, March, right? We graduated in March, May. January, February, Did you get engaged April, before May. or after you got a job? I got engaged before I got a job. Oh, wow. Damn, she trusts you. Okay, well, that was the big context thing. I think we've talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but happy to bring it up because we're, uh-huh. we're coming up on our one-year anniversary. Yeah. But it's like uh, I didn't want to propose to Ellie because I, I was like, I don't have any prospects to go to her dad and be like, look, I'm successful. Like, I promise I I'll take, take care, care of your daughter. daughter. We you can know, live in my parents. Super, we can like, live in my parents' basement Basement together together like it'll be fun um but like there was no i know it's really traditional to think like oh i need to have a job and all this stuff but then my dad came in and of course like any good dad does reassures his wonderful son and is like look son you graduated from georgia tech you're a smart kid you are the prospect right you don't have a job right now but that doesn't mean you won't have a job Mm. And I was like, you know what, Dad? You're right. Imagine if it was wrong. <laughs> you never oh, yeah, got a job. Yeah, I never got a job. I was just like a little sm- schmuck, stayed at home, played video games all day. Oh, my gosh. Because that's what I was doing at the time. I was literally just playing video games every single day all day because I didn't have a job. Mm-hmm. I would just wake up in the morning, late. I say morning, probably like 10 or 11. Wake up at noon. Wake up at noon, eat their food, go back upstairs, and just play video games yeah. all day until like wee hours in the morning. Well, congratulations. You made it out. I did. I actually, I played video games once since I've been married. I don't think I, really, just one time? One time. Wow. I, picked I can't up the remember last time. And I turned on Spider-Man once. I think the last time I played a video game, Bella was interested and it was Uncharted. Uh, and then she became very quickly uninterested. Yeah, very quickly. And so that was the last time I played a actually, video game. Actually, it might be three times. There was once, I think I turned it on and updated everything. Wow, for... we tripled in a matter of a thought. You wanna, I know. Do you want to think about it again? No, no, no. Can it's, we it's three. Triple it's it again? three because it's, it's, I played Spider Man once. Uh huh. And then the second time was I was updating everything for Call of Duty, which is like hundreds of gigabytes of just updates. And uh, I played, once it updated, I played that, which was just oh, so nostalgic. I love that. I just love that whole franchise. And then, except for ghosts, ghosts can go suck one. Um, but then the third time, Ellie was like, oh, I want to play. You know, because she was like, oh, Noah is interested in this thing. Girls, I, I want to be interested real in quick, it as well. I hate to cut you off. If you're a girl, okay. if you're a girlfriend and you want to bond with your uh, significant other by being cute and saying, oh, I want to play, don't. 
We well, don't. We don't want you. Okay. To play. I'm going to be honest. I don't want you to play. Here's the problem. I don't that. want to teach you. If you're a gamer girl, great. oh yeah, no. If you're a gamer girl, fantastic. If you know great. how to play, if you know how to play. Yeah, if you know how to play, absolutely. Great. Oh, then then y'all are best friends. Bombs. It's like it's like the whole gym, you know, relationship thing. It's great. It's great. But it's like, like if you spend all day coaching, it's like then it becomes less fun. Yeah, exactly. Then she never picked up a controller in her life, and you well know. then well then so with Ellie and myself, we we would here's the controller. I'm teaching her how to play, like doing it. Yeah. But of course, like like. It's like handing a blind. It's like handing Helen Keller a, a remote controller uh-huh. and and being like, "Hey, can you, you go know, to channel one thirty three? Yeah, right. It's like go to this, do this thing. I am like exponentially better than she is, and I'm not saying like, "Oh, look at me, God mode," but like I'm exponent comparatively better than she is at the game. So like I'm doing basic, like barely maintaining my character within the game. Yeah, and I'm like crushing her, and then she feels bad. And she's like, so this I is suck annoying. At this game. I suck at, I'm like, yes, you do suck yeah. at this game. Like that's, yes, but we're getting, you know, like this is the developmental phase. You I mean, know? it's a great thought. It's like, you know, the it's the thought that counts. Yeah, like very, very sweet. Very just, sweet. Let's keep it a thought, you know. Yeah, but then, but then it's like, okay, so some one of my other good friends. So we're in a couple small group. Caden, what's up, Caden? Um, he he's been over here all the time. I want to get him on the show. He'd be a good he'd be a good Christian mind to unpack. Caden, Caden Dolmage. Okay, not. Church. Okay. Bailey, you know, Bailey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. What, you've been saying Caden. I was thinking your sister's boyfriend. That's Cade. Cade. Ah. It's sorry, like Cade. Cade with an N. Ah. Caden. But he apparently, so they're married now, mm-hmm. right? So they're the Dolmages, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Love that. And he apparently plays video games like all the time, right? And I'm like, I'm thinking, because he's saying this out loud, and I'm thinking, how how is he pulling that off? Because like I gotta learn that. Like I gotta learn. How are you doing that? Like how are you convincing Bailey to let you play video games? Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm really not. Like she goes to bed and then I stay up and and I game until like late hours in the morning. And I'm like, there it is. That's it. That's the problem. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah. I just can't. Like I'm up at six thirty in the morning. Like I literally can't. What's he can't. do? He's uh, he works the church. Oh, that's that's full time. Mm-hmm. Both of them. Both of them full time. Mm. So like, yeah, he can say I play. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Like that's just, like that's what I did at Tech. <laughs> you go, hey Ellie, I think I, I just I think I'm gonna like work for the church. I just feel a calling. <laughs> I, just, I just I feel I feel a, an itch, you know. Yeah, just like, a really, just the Holy yeah, Spirit a, is moving some, me. Some yeah, boys, I'm, I'm getting on tonight. <laughs> tonight at 10 p.m. I'll see you there. Poggers in the chat, okay? Oh man. But you know, it's like, you know, no shame. Like if he can pull it off, that's awesome. Yeah. But it's like, I, I very quickly wanted to take notes, but at the same time, I was like, oh. yeah, you were you. About to give you the whole, you know, manuscript of how you do something amazing. Yeah. And then they're like, the only way you can make a million dollars is if you make a you million dollars. You work really freaking hard and bubble. And it's like, no, nah, I knew that. Yeah, it's like, I it's knew like, that solution. The only way to make a million dollars is to have a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah okay, impossible. Like, yeah. I'm not going to, like, the only way to play video games is to just play video I'm like, okay, sorry, can't yeah. make that happen. Yep. So we're kind of coming in here kind of at the end of the mm-hmm. first half. Before we enter into the, um, the halftime show, mm. as as they call it, mm. um, I wanted to just get a quick little one minute update on how the hair is doing. No, from the last time. No, um, well, we can talk about it. We don't have to show it. I mean, I mean, how many people really? Oh yeah, boy, there Dude, it is. I'll, I'm gonna be honest. It looks like crap because I got a hat on, but I can kind of style it now. It's All right, everybody, go on YouTube right now. Make our podcast. You got a glimpse <sighs> right yeah. here. He's gonna make Mitchell's the thumbnail hair. too, which pisses me off. Oh, you know it, dude. You know it, hon. It's just not. You know it's good. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get a freeze frame for the for later. <laughs> God, of the hold on, on the point. You want to take the hat off and do it? No, I, I just did it. All right, cool. Because I'll cut it together. Great, lovely. Um, <laughs> but it, it's the length right now that if I were to get a fade done on the side, I could do that messy thing that I used to do on top. Boom, we're back in business. I we're back to what we used to be. Yeah. But the thing is, I told myself I was gonna let my hair grow out because there's a style I'm trying to go for. So. But that's gonna be another like that's gonna be like another, like another four five months five months oh, yeah. a year and it might be close to a hair year. hair grows in spurts you know yeah so it doesn't no just, I didn't know that. it didn't just grow great yep what <laughs> so there's phases what's the phase I gotta I don't know waxing waning we'll see dude I'm doing everything I can I'm gonna throw you right to the halftime show we'll see you in a second. All right, everybody. Welcome to your Man Card Podcast halftime episode. Episode within an episode. In episode seption, should we come up with a new name for it? The half sode. 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 Okay. 
So I have a topic today, and I'm gonna need your help. Twenty-seven. Um, and you're about oh, what? Uh, I don't just know. number, just math. Yeah. I need you to grab. No, that, I'm no, that lightsaber. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> so you're about to be very disappointed because when you flick that switch, it's not gonna turn on. Great. Unfortunately, okay. flick it. Yep. Okay. So I think it's I think it's out of battery. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I wanted to get your take on today's fad with lightsabers and the kind of like super decked out ones that you can buy because obviously i have one right here what do you mean the fad this the shit's cool period there's no fad the shit's cool it's this, here to stay Mom. this one this was cool yesterday and it will be cool today and it'll be cool 10 years from now this is cool so would you do you have one no you want one though because you just went to because i got this at disney world yeah i got a fucking wand i spent 50 bucks on a plastic stick that doesn't do shit. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Well, that's when I okay. could have got this for what, a, you know, double a, a limb, one limb, one limb, not even a vital organ, one limb, and then also your, well, left unmentionable. You know what I mean? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's like you'll turn into Logan Paul real oh, quick. Nice. Doesn't he? Isn't he? I don't know. That? But I got it. <laughs> I hope not. I feel like it's like a thing. I don't know. But I, I love it. I think it's great. I think mm. it's like a cool talking piece and like uh-huh. a good it's a good i go out to the bar and i just bring my yeah. saber so great 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 conversation starter ladies look ladies. at me <laughs> well, i'm married so it's like men look at me <laughs> yeah go to the go to the gay bar with one of these you'll light up the whole room yeah, a bunch of dudes just start never mind <laughs> never mind i'm horny <laughs> this is a pg podcast pg podcast sometimes Definitely. Family sometimes. friendly. My Bring mom, your kids on my in My mom here. listens, so hello, mom. How are you? Um, but yeah, I, I think it's fun. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's a, a, a cool thing. And once I get once we get our house, um, which I haven't talked about on the show. Wow. Yet. All right. Wow. Let's just teaser, go. teaser, teaser. Uh, yeah. For Foreshadow. uh, foreshadowing. Uh, I, I'll, I want to mount it, like put it in like an office space or like on a desk or something. Uh-huh. I think it'd be cool. You should have some way to be able to like turn it on just by like a remote or like so when I you flip you on the it. switch or something like that. Yeah. Just be, be like... <laughs> Just across the room, like, <laughs> 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 it's like, nah, didn't work that time, yeah. but that's okay. Anyway, with that and my, you know, extra effort there, we'll send you right back to the main part of the episode. <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to the main portion of today's episode. Um, and just like I teased just a minute ago. Um, we'll just dive in with a brand new topic, uh, which is a happening that has developed since we last recorded. Ellie and I are under contract on a house. Nice. 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 It's being Fre- built. Freaking nice, dude. Freaking new contract. New, yeah, so, new so build. It's a new build. Um, so it's it's the closing date is set for like, I think it's October 18th. So closing date meaning the day you can move in. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know out there, when you close, you take ownership of the house. Gotcha. And you move and like that's the day you, you have the What case. are the chances that it's actually gonna be done by then, you think? Um You really think it's gonna be done by I that think time? It will. I think it will. If they're smart, they will plan it. they'll they'll do the yeah, the closing like weeks after they expect it to actually be done. Yeah. So they have wiggle room. I think well what they've done yeah, okay. So she she was talking about that and, and I think they pushed it back a month. Oh good. Just in case, because I know they had delays last year yeah. with their properties. So anyway, just to give some fun detail, if anybody out there wants to stop by and say, hey. Um, it's great location. Great location. It's right up the street from downtown Woodstock. Right up the street from the It's Mall. literally on Main Street. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you are looking at Pure, you're looking at where Alexa used to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, all how, those people how I know. How many knives can I yeah, just uh-huh. in one sentence? Mm-hmm. Um, if you're looking at that side and you just go left, straight up Main Street, um, it's like right across the street from the, the Woodstock Library. Nice, and it's it's super cool. I won't give any more details than that because I don't know how many people I actually want to like stop by. That did cost a vital organ. Yeah, I think it cost two or three from what you told me. Yeah, it was a couple. two, and then your other, you know. Well, it's funny. So just some insight into new bill or just buying a house in general. It's crazy, like absolutely crazy yeah. right now to to buy a house. Yeah, do you have so, to outbid anybody? No, I no. don't think so. so. So with new builds, you can just, I say this, this one didn't have a lottery. Mm-hmm. So sometimes they have a lottery yeah. to then be able to come in and yeah. sign a contract for a lot or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
we were we had the lucky situation where they weren't doing a lottery. They were just doing a first come first, first come, That's yeah, beautiful. So it was great, and so we, and we really lucked out. Like we were we were kind of in the middle of the pack. Like we were early to the property, but late on the sign up because some people from the other community that didn't get in, I think, were had early extra insight mm. into when that information was coming out, and so they were on the list early. They you know signed up early. They got everything early, and they you know got a spot ahead of us. So we were kind of middle of the pack. And we were nervous that we weren't going to get any of our plans, like plan A through Z. Like we, we were kind of like throwing plans out the window as they came because they were just kind of going up in smoke. But luckily, we got a great lot. We got the house that we, that we had first thought did we, you, we wanted. Did you get the lot that you wanted? Did you get the corner? No, not and the one, corner. So, ah. that one, so that one only holds two different models of house. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them... Probably uh, a more expensive one. Yeah, so it started, on it started at... 400 yeah right but the problem was overnight like the day before we were supposed to go in and meet with her to sign the contract it went up in price fifty thousand dollars overnight as a starting point and then with upgrades it ends up being thirty thousand dollars more yeah so So you're looking at almost half a million dollar house and i'm like how about no yeah and like let's just go with the smallest one Mm -hmm. on a different lot you know on lot one of these lots and we were like okay and so we ended up getting one of those two lots with the model that we wanted, and uh, it ended up starting at three sixty nine nine ninety, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And then with the with the extra upgrades and thirty thousand of just you know, I say upgrades. It's more like like normal things you would Taxes? do to a house. No, no, it's like uh, things like choices you put into yeah, the yeah, house. Yeah. But like some of these choices are like, like what if you didn't do the choice? Like it's kind Give of me one. Like one of them is like LVP all through the house. What's that? Uh, it's like luxury vinyl planking. It's uh-huh. like those. It's like the. It's you just not said luxury, wood. you know. Yeah, the things everyone needs. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, 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 luxury. Luxury. Well, we could have done hardwood. We didn't want to do hardwood throughout yeah. the house. We we're like, let's just do what what we have downstairs, but upstairs, and get rid of all the carpet, and just have carpet on the stairs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and that's like a couple thousand dollars, or more. Mm-hmm. And it's like okay, but that's an upgrade that we wanted to do because it increases the value of your home yeah. over time. Yeah. If you want doors, you know, cost more money. You know. Certain doors do. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Yeah. yeah. But like, uh, you know, certain oven, certain dishwasher, like you know, all these things, it just, it just adds up. It yeah. doesn't seem like very much, but it, but it adds up really quickly. Um, and so, you know, we were out the door like 400, which for location, three bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath. You don't have to share if you don't want to. What's your d- d- estimated monthly for the mortgage? I think the mortgage estimated monthly is going to be... It's hard to say because the rates are going up right now. Yeah. So it's going to be anywhere. Oh, so it's not a done deal? Yeah, once it's cl- once closing comes, closing that's when... Comes. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. So uh, it's tough. That's the that's the one catch. And yeah. I actually called the the lender today and I was like, hey, can you give me some insight into some like long-term locks? Yeah. You know, because I just want to get the low down. Yeah. And she basically was, was super nice. And she was like, look, like with long-term locks, like when rates weren't going up, we disincentivized it. We almost said we didn't even do it because... Yeah you basically guarantee yourself not the lowest rate yeah. because there's like a buffer that they have to build into that to say like, okay, here's the rate. Now you want to lock into this. Okay. Well, to lock into that, you have to have X percentage uh, more mm-hmm. for, you know, our sake or yeah. the lender's sake. Yeah. And so, you know, you're basically guaranteeing yourself. N- no, it's a no win situation. Mm-hmm. So like now, if we were to say, hey, we want to lock in at whatever the rate is now, I haven't even checked. I don't even want to look at it. But like, if we want to lock in now and then it doesn't go up later, then it's like we, we just guaranteed ourselves. Or it goes up throughout the summer and then crashes this fall or something. Yeah. It's like yeah, whatever, yeah. any number of things can happen. Yeah. Or it goes up and then just plateaus. Yeah. Right. And it's like all of those scenarios, we would not have wanted to do a lock. So you rate. don't know what your monthly mortgage will be. So, I mean, it, I, I could guess it'd probably be around like, between eighteen hundred to twenty one hundred a month. Okay, that's what I'm guessing. It's manageable. It's doable. Super, oh, super yeah. manageable. Um, because paired with that new update, got another new update. I just got a new freaking job. Yeah, you're rich. No, no, I wish. She's making half a mil. No, no, I wish. I wish. Um, the, my friend, his sales team, one of his, one of the guys on the team made half a mil last year. In this company? No, not this company. Oh, okay. 
I think this company, some of the guys made like closer to. Bro, I was about to pull a Wolf of Wall Street. You show me a pay stuff for half a million dollars. I'm quitting my job right now. I work for you. I work for you, dude. That's what I, this whole time I've wanted to just get my closest group of friends and like form a business mm-hmm. of some kind. Um, I don't know. You tell me when. I don't know what it would be. Come up with business. Come up with tell me later. when. I'll get some more sales. We'll go sell some stuff. We'll, yeah. And we'll look professional before we do it. So do I mean? You have anything else you want to say specifically about the house? Um, I don't know. The house is coming. It's okay. pending. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I can show photos and flash photos on the screen <laughs> of the model. Okay, cool. Um, so that's the one we're doing. Um, so it's cute, super cute. And, um, and then the new job is just going to allow a little bit more wiggle room. Oh yeah. Uh, with, with that payment and then have a little bit more flexibility there. The amount of money that you and your wife have brought in <laughs> over the past year has exponentially increased that it's absurd. Yeah, man. People crap on marriage. I like, still crap on marriage, but like, money. But, it, but it's like think about think about like what you're making, which is a healthy sum of money, and then think of what Bell is making, yeah, which is another healthy sum of money, yeah. And then imagine if you guys had a one bank account. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. That would never happen. That would be crazy. Because I, I, I would I'm ne- doing the I would never math have right one, now. Just I, one bank account. Oh well. Yeah. No. I know. I, know. Yeah. I agree. But no. You yes. Yeah. The, the lump sum itself. That's wild. That's wild to think about. But it is like when Ellie and I, when I was, when we were just living off of my one income. Which I'm going to be honest with you. I'm surprised y'all did it. What do you mean? You were supporting yourself and someone else, and you're living close to Atlanta on one salary. I'm going to be honest. Forty five thousand a year. I'm going to be honest. That's very uh, stressful. I. I'm not going to say it wasn't stressful. Uh, we just we just tried our best not to let money take the primary worry mm-hmm. space, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. And it's just like, of course it did. There were some fights. It was just like, why does this uh, do yeah. better? Why are you settling, Noah? I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> I'm not anymore. I got a new job. Um, but no, it's like you know, she got a new job because she was doing. She felt some sense of responsibility of like, well, then okay, I can pitch in too. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, okay, well, it's also something that I love to do. It's in dance world. It's, you know, that's awesome. I love it. Um, she'll get to teach more this summer, which is really cool. And, um, and so that, that's a good math problem, right? You double your salary, right? She, she ends up starting, starting to make the same amount as you. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. 45, 45, 90. 90. That's killer. That's a great math problem to go mm-hmm. from 45 to 90 in one day. What? That's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And then for me, I got a promotion. So then I was bumped up to 55, five. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yep. That's super cool. Yep. Um, and so then that's over a hundred thousand. Yeah. Right there. Right there. No, that's, that's 100,000. That's 100 at yeah. the, on the nose. Yeah. On base salary. Welcome to the six figure club. Yeah. Did such great math before. It's, I know it's great. And then, uh, and then this new job, you know, yeah, it just man. bumps up even more. So I'm like, on more. Yeah. I don't want to, should I say no, uh, it's your finances. You talk about whatever you want. I'm, I'll say mine. I'll say my number. I don't think I ever have. Have you ever? I don't think so. I'll say mine if you say yours. I say, I'll, t- I'll show okay. you mine if you show me yours. I'll start. So, um, so I'm at fifty-five-five now base. Mm-hmm. Or actually, I'm sorry. I just got a performance increase. Yeah, like talk about the training part too. Now. Yeah. Okay. So this job comes with this training program of like six to nine months because mm-hmm. it's like they basically make you sale tech sales ninjas. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is kick butt, and so that starts at sixty-five plus overtime, which yep. probably is going to end up coming around 70. Yeah. Which is already 15 more, which is 15 more, which is kick butt. And mm-hmm. so that's six to nine months. <laughs> What's up, dude. And then after that, you end up getting into your quota carrying role mm-hmm. that has all of your sales goals and whatnot. And that bumps up into the eighties. I don't know exactly base. where, but yeah. as base. So it goes from like, which is just your, another, yeah. Know, so then to like base promotion on promotion. Yeah. So it's like built in, which is cool. Um, and then with that, coupled with that, is uncapped uh, commission. Um, and I like so to think you, I'm a hard worker. Yeah. So, well, what's the going? What do you think the go? What you said? You know, some people that work at this company make around some guys. Okay, on so my one of my mentors and people, he actually works at this company, but he he was like, yeah, man, like I wouldn't even stress to say like in two two and a half years, like you can be doubling your salary. Like, don't even worry about it. Yeah. So, I'm like, so think about it, you doing just half that in the first year. So it's like, so Not let's just say we half. say 40,000. Yep. That's big 120. That's 120 solo. That's some, that's some big. Kahunas. That's crazy. 120, but then plus hers. Well, we were, we were joking before the podcast was recording. Cause I was, we were talking about this and I was like, 
that's money like you tell a kid yeah. that and and that's like money like oh i make 120 yeah, yeah, a yeah. year uh-huh. um and it's just money you can't comprehend yeah and so now that i'm an adult it's like extra special because like i never thought that i would that i would get there mm-hmm. and it's like wow holy crap i'm kind of on the cusp of getting there yeah what's your uh do you get any benefits not just health insurance but like do you get like any unlimited use? pto you know the, the scam behind that you never use it yeah that's why they yeah, do okay. it. And that's why that I, I mean, I've taken three days off since I've started. And I've been there for six months. That's the thing. It's like, I, okay. All right. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, we've got a week, uh, this summer coming where we're going to, Ellie and I are going to Disney mm-hmm. for a one year anniversary. We're very excited in yeah. June. You easily take it. It's just like, boom, done. Take yeah. it. Sure. Right. So it's like, those things are so great. Well, I think that's also, I mean, with a company like that, you can easily do that because as long as you're hitting your sales goals, they don't care. You could work one day, one day a week. If if you're hitting your sales goal, I'm sure they don't care. No, they don't care because you're making their money. I mean, when it comes down to it, like at the end of the day, like I never really saw unlimited PTO as like a, Oh, I need to work there because they have unlimited PTO. Yeah. Cause like one of my other buddies, Philip, who I actually haven't seen in a minute. I need to catch up with him. But Philip, his consulting company, they're in the like cybersecurity tech space, mm-hmm. and they have unlimited, unlimited PTO as well. And like when I interviewed with them, they were like, "Oh yeah, unlimited PTO, all this stuff." And I was just like, "But what does that mean?" You know, like yeah. I mean, obviously like, you have to come into work one day. Like, how is that practical? Yeah. You know, and Philip was like, "Yeah, you can just take a month off." I'm like, "That just sounds horrible to me." I don't think I, has he ever taken a month off? No. I feel like no, no one. Way. There's no way that someone's like, "Hey, yeah, boss, you'll see me next month." Like, unless you're like having a kid. No, like There's it's no it's not gonna fly. But even with that, like you can still work remote mm-hmm. for the most part. Yeah, at least for some of your job. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I feel like I would start to go crazy. Like if I was working from home too much, mm-hmm. or like not working from home. You don't like, say. If I was, yeah, yeah. But if I was like just taking unlimited PTO, it's like what does that even mean? I'll take off three hundred sixty five days a year. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what is that? Like that that means that's meaningless because. And I guess it's a scam because you obviously won't ever use yeah. unlimited. You start feeling bad about taking days because you don't want to, you know, ex- too much? overstep your boundary. Yeah. But like when you're given days, you're like, oh, I need to make sure I use all these days so you don't feel bad. Yeah. You're given these days, it's part of your. Well, and that's that's the funny thing with me is like I will take days off when I need to take days off. Yeah. Or like a trip comes up or Same. like a vacation. Like I will take days Same. off, no question. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to work. Like what, like I just like, what else am I going to do? Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Like, that, I hey, just that's like that. how you get your video games I in. know. There you go. Unlimited PTO to play video games. Yeah. I'm going to become a Twitch streamer <laughs> on the side during work hours. No, of course not. Actually. Mm. Um, don't take notes. Don't. I'm actually going to delete this portion of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> no. But I'm very excited. Like It's, yeah. it's going to be a cool thing with a new house, new job, like all this stuff coming to come. You know, coming Health down benefits, the though, too? Health you did? benefits, okay, yeah. Um, you know, Anything else that they throw in there? Like signing bonus stock perk or uh, it's a totally traded so. company? Yeah, so they're publicly traded. I think they brought in like six billion last year. No, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Six billion dollars. Jesus, up. I looked it up. I was like, "Holy crap!" Yeah, it's a lot of money, dude. Tech sales, dude. Well, because and let's just put it in perspective of like what we're actually talking about. Because mm-hmm. we're not we're not talking about anymore. I'm selling you the customer, you know, technology software package. No, no, we're selling. It's B two B. So we explain. So B two B. Because I, I say it to you, and you're like, oh, B2B. Just bitch to bitch. Bitch yeah. to bitch, dude. But like, B2B is business to business sales. So, like, as a business, we're going to sell this other business, like a bank or something, because mm-hmm. it's financial technology sales. That's what, that's what I'm doing. And we're going to sell a bank this technology package for divestments and, you know, private data rooms or whatever. There you go. It's like you can not only charge more, but they buy more. Yeah. And so it's like the combination of the two is like boop through the roof because your your product that you're providing is such a higher quality than it would be if I was just trying to make something something direct to consumer. Do they tell you what your percentage and stuff like that is based off how much you sell? Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna be just pretty much a traditional commission structure in that way, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't hold me. Don't hold me dead to rights because when it comes down to that kind of stuff, every company is going to be a little nuanced and different. So obviously, I haven't hit the ground running yet, so I don't know yeah. the practical sense of it. But yeah, within one or two days, 
I can guarantee you all know exactly what that what that shtick is. Because I tried to get, and this is the biggest thing about Sherwin that made me so confused was, like, I came in for the role and was like, hey, detail for me the commission structure. Like, what is the commission structure? And they could they couldn't, but they said, oh yeah, we have commission. Like, I promise. And I was like, okay, you know, I need a job. You know, this is a good job. You know, you have commission. Okay, sure. Come into role. Come to find out. There's a, like, of the commission that you can make, like, a very small portion of that is, a contr- like, a directly controllable percentage. So, like, you take that percentage out, it's not making any kind of note. Like, it's a negligible, negligible impact on your overall mm-hmm. commission. Or, so, really, effectively, we're making a bonus. So it's a yearly bonus paid out quarterly. Yeah. And so I was like, oh man, I like I kind of felt a little misled when I was first hired, just to be honest, because I was like coming from a commission role beforehand, I knew what that was like. And you work harder, you come in every day, yep. you grind, and yep. you get more money. Like that's it. Simple. Like end of the sentence. That's it. Now it's like the harder you work, you don't necessarily get more. Yeah. You know. And I'm like, oh man, like that kind of is such a buzzkill. Yeah, there's no incentive to. Yeah. Or it's just, it's just a disincentive, like a de facto disincentive. For I'm sure me. they limit your PTO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they give Makes you, sense. yeah, yeah. So they give you, I mean, it's a generous, you know, amount, amount of time off, but, um, but luckily what's cool is that like in the, in the transition period out of a role, they'll pay you out for the time you haven't taken off. Oh, that's nice. Right. So, you know, I did the math and it's two weeks, a two pay? full weeks of so it's pay. a paycheck. So it's a paycheck. So I'm like, oh, dang. That's pretty nice because that'll pay for a lot of the Disney trip right there. Yeah. Right yeah. There. So I'm yeah. like, that's, that can go straight into the, the vacation bucket. Y'all should change it to universal. You know what? If we wanted a, a wand, we definitely would, but you've got that department covered. Um, so I'll just come to your house yeah, and, you got a bigger uh, stick and play with your stick. Dude. Yeah. A little twig. A little twig. A little twig. I, I knock on you, but I think at my parents' house we have like five or six wands. I loved it. It was fun. It's cool. I just, I hate how that's much cooler. Well, it's, it's the experience around it. Like that, to get that lightsaber, the Disney experience to get that lightsaber is like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like yeah. I, I didn't, I literally didn't watch anything online. Didn't look anything up on purpose. I just decided before I went in what color I was going to get. And unbeknownst to me, Cade got also color. got the same color because it's the best one. Green, yeah. the best color. Well, what are the options? Uh, green. Blue. I already know which one I get uh, if it's an option. Red. Uh, yellow, I uh, want to say. Maybe you can buy yellow, but it's not an option that you uh, can pick. Um, and then I feel like I'm missing one. Purple? purple? Oh, purple. I get purple. Mace Windu? Okay, so Absolutely you're, you're one purple. of the rare people. So like a couple of the people in the room got purple. Uh-huh. And I was just like... I'm absolutely getting only purple. Only Mace Windu can I I'm 100% can I purple? getting purple. I'm getting purple. Uh, absolutely like, getting purple. I don't know. Who, uh, who the hell's getting yellow? There's, if yellow is one of the options, who the hell is getting yellow? Uh, you can buy yellow later, I'm pretty sure. I'd either get red or... I'm getting red or purple. Red's cool. Yeah. If I didn't get green, I would have gotten red. Yeah. Um, I also got, you know, Voldemort's, you know, stick. So, obviously, I like the villains for some Yeah, villains some are reason. cool. I mean, you can't have a protagonist without an antagonist. So, um, you know... Villain- have a good have a good have a good have a good have um, yeah, he's, uh, or no, uh, why did I just say abracadabra? Yeah, that's what, no, dead ass. When I first watched Harry you Potter with Bella, I, I, it sound, I knew that he wasn't saying that, but I was like, it sounds like abracadabra. I was saying that to Bella. So every time I had the stick and I did anything, I do abracadabra. <laughs> that's my, our little inside joke. I yep. literally went to the, there was a bookstore that I had to go to recently. or was at Barnes and Noble and I was walking through and I saw out of the corner of my eye, a spell book. They have a spell book for Harry Potter. For Harry Potter now. Oh, nice. And I'm like, freaking sick. But also, yeah, yeah. I get for your kids. Like, like, they just, they're sitting there with their wands. What does that do? Leviosa. Yeah, in the back of the book is like the killing curses. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are in the, the corner of their room. A varkatavra. A varkatavra. You know, <laughs> out, out of nowhere, <laughs> you, your, your kid gets pissed at you. He runs off, gets his wand, comes back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Wow, she's like, you fucking hate me. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm glad I keep the gun in the safe. Jesus, yeah. But no, I mean, dude, there's a lot of stuff coming on the horizon, man. Like, so much going on, and I'm just like, it's almost too much to keep up with. And so, like, Ellie and I are literally just taking it day by day, like mm-hmm. everything going on, like leaning into our marriage with each other. Yeah, it's cool, dude. It's yeah, cool. I'm sure. And of course, like, I joke around a ton where it's like, oh, marriage is so easy. Marriage is not easy. 
like it's why I'm on not the doing real, it. like it's tough. Like marriage is hard. Like you have to go out of your way to be sacrificial for your partner because it's like at the end of the day, you're dealing with a human, mm-hmm. a human being who it's like, yeah, every, every third, third day they're going to screw up and do something annoying that you don't like, or is just like blatantly wrong to do. And you hear like, that Ellie? He says you screw up every th- one of three days. Wow. <laughs> no, you, nope. You said it. I, I'm, you said I'm, it. I'm projecting. I'm talking about me. Um, but no, it's like, you know, it's like, I annoy her constantly. Like, of course, I'll I'll mess up and do something wrong. And He's like, backtracking now. And she, no, no, no. I'm like, just no, kidding. What I'm did just, you say? Get I'm out of just screwing. Ellie. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> notate this shit. Um, but no, it's like, like you're humans at the yeah. end of the day. And so, like, being able to go above and beyond because, like, when you're when you're dating, it's like somebody screws up, and it's like, oh, see you later. Mm-hmm. When you're married, somebody screws up. It's like, all right, mm. well got to do something now you know what oh, i mean yeah, you like, gotta slap a comedian that talks shit about your wife exactly even though she, you know you, she cheated on you and told you yeah but it's like, like you know oh, we gotta deal with this now and I, I choose violence i choose to kill people um no i mean it's just like it's it's really cool to be able to go out of your way for your partner and so like ellie's gone out of her way for me multiple times I, i'm excited to i mean she's just she's an amazing she's an amazing woman yeah. so like to for me to go out of my way for her is like when do I get to do that? You know what I mean? Like she's just so, she's I think so that's good. the thing that probably is keeping me away from marriage. The longest is I think I'm very internal. I think I'm selfish when I haven't experienced something. Oh yeah. So like, for example, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, Bella want like Bella would be cool with me moving in, but like, I'm not ready for that because one, I would like to move out by myself for once, like know, sure. know what that's like. So like, I don't want to move in with someone else before I've had the experience. So like, it's kind of selfish in a way. No, that's fair. And like, I just see that as like in marriage, I got to get, that's why I feel like I got to do a whole bunch of things and get them out of the way. Cause then I can be sacrificial. Yeah. Cause I know for a fact, I know me, I'm going to either resent the person slightly. Cause if I can't do, if I can't do what I like kind of want to do or want to experience and then yeah, I'm selfish. I think, I think you'll def you'll definitely think that until you don't. Yeah. Right. So like yeah. you're going to continue to think that like, oh, I have to have all these experiences before. Right. But because like for me, like when I, before I started dating Ellie, mm. I was like, oh, I want to graduate college. I want to live on my own. Like I want to do my own thing yeah. for a while. That's how, honestly, in a way how I feel. Yeah. And so, and that quickly evaporated mm-hmm. when I was like, I graduated college, got engaged, was living at home, mm-hmm. you know, working mm-hmm. for the time period afterwards. Yeah. And then got an apartment that next, that next year. So like it's 2022 now. Uh, we signed the lease for this apartment, one year lease in April of 2021. Mm-hmm. So there was a whole year where I was living at home, working. Mm-hmm. Crazy, right? That is crazy. So like, I so there was a period where I didn't have a job and then had a job. Still, then, yeah. Right, and so it's like. I never really had the moment. There was a month. There was one month where I moved out of my parents' house. And you house got to come here first. I got to come here because, first. Yeah. Y'all were waiting until you were married. Yeah. So we were waiting until I got And I was like, oh, this is sick. But then I very quickly realized, wow, it's really freaking lonely. Yeah. Like, it's so lonely. But here's the thing. I feel like I have to experience that for myself. I okay. have to realize it's lonely. You, I have to you go and are going to be lonely. Uh, you are going to be lonely, guy. Yeah. Because you know I'm not. I, I don't You're, go out and do a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. Nope. Yep. You don't. Yeah. I don't like to either. Yeah. And so I'm cool with chilling in. I'm cool with myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that in writing. Actually, we have it on podcast, so we'll see how long that freaking lasts. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to call me one night, you're going to be like, dude, can you just like talk to me on the phone <laughs> or like FaceTime or tell, something? Like, just tell me a joke. Just tell me, just just say words because I'm so freaking lonely just right now. Just send me your, uh, <laughs> your uh, uh, in the middle of sleeping recording so I can pretend someone's here pretend talking to me. Here. Yeah. I'm going to put your sleep recording next to me and uh-huh. pretend that you're sleeping mm-hmm, yeah. with me. I don't know. That's not weird. That's not weird at all. But hey, anyway, thanks for tuning in today to this episode. Um, we're glad to be back. We're glad to be recording again. And so please, if you don't know, drop down in the bottom of Spotify or iTunes um, and, and drop us a review if you don't if you don't mind if you feel like we only if it's a good it. one. Only if I mean, yeah, if only, it's not a good one, like you know, it, you know what your mama said. Keep if, it to if yourself. If you got nothing to say, that's good. Don't say it. Yeah. Um, but no, definitely appreciate you, you checking us out. Go on YouTube. We're live there. Mancardpodcast.com. Go check that out. I just realized we forgot to plug it in the halftime show. We're horrible. Mancardpodcast.com. Mancard, yeah, yeah. Get, get the mugs. Get the stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye.